Hi everybody, this is uh, Madhav and you're on the Unmute Agency blog and uh, I'm standing here with uh, Josh Wink or oh, the legendary Josh Wink and uh, so it's, it's your first time in India? Yeah, well today's the second day, second day of the first time. Nice, and how's it, uh, how's it been for you so far? Two gigs? Yeah, it's been really fast unfortunately, you know, yesterday uh, the gig in Bombay and uh, today the gig here and Bangaluru. Yes. Bangaluru. That's right. I've been told to say this instead of Bangalore. Uh, but otherwise, it's been great, you know? Adam and I both have been here at the same time, uh, first time. And we've been traveling together, so it's been pretty cool. And, uh, you know, it's a learning experience, I think, for the underground music here. Absolutely, that's true. And uh, I mean, in the uh, the whole techno thing is still it's in a, it's in a space where it's kind of growing in India, and uh, there's still a lot more to look forward to. But a lineup like this, uh, with just you and Adam, you know, playing for two festivals back to back on two days yesterday in Bombay and then today in Bangalore has been has been pretty amazing. I think it's been a great experience for a lot of people. We've had a lot of diehard fans of yours here, by the way, who were completely blown away by your deep uh, set signature Josh Wink sound. I was reading up uh, some info about you and there's, there's something really interesting that I read about how you have a more experimental approach towards uh, most of the music that you're writing and the idea behind your DJing. It's not like a streamlined formula thing and considering how big the whole mainstream thing is, I'd really love for you to share how important it is for you to um, run through accidents and try different things and come up with new ideas and I, I, I'd really like you to share some, some of that, that kind of ideology because a lot of people are going with formula stuff and it works and they do it uh, but there's very few people now who are really pushing the boundaries or at least have the initiative to try and go that far and make those experiments so maybe a little bit about that would be really amazing coming through. Well every artist is different, everybody gets into it for different reasons. I got into this because it's the only thing I knew and the only thing I wanted to do. I didn't know I was going to be making a living. I didn't know I'd be still doing it 25 years later. So for me that hasn't changed. A lot of people get involved in the music scene right now because there's a way to, to make a lot of money and become famous and popular and if that's what you do then that's fine. You know, I just try to be able to maintain my bills and the bills at the record company to be able to uh, sustain my passion and my love for doing what I do. So there's no formula to what I do. I just have to kind of get into the studio. And for me, that's the hardest part right now, always traveling and being a father. There's a mistake theory of how I make music. You know, when I go in, I think I'm going to make music Hello, in Josh a certain Wink. way. Good evening, Arjun. Always a troublemaker, he is. He always is there. Troublemaker. You took what I was going to say. Ow, oh, now I, I can't think of what. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Josh Wink, that's right. Um, so, there's a mistake theory about like going into the studio and I think I'm going to make a house track and it turns out to be a techno track or there's a techno track I think I'm going to make and it turns out to be a deep house thing. I, I don't really know. So Josh, uh, one thing I really wanted to ask is like, you've been in the game for so many years. Like, I mean, how long has it been? Like, when, when, when did you really start? I have a grey beard. I, I know that, but like how many years? Let's get down the, the numbers. Like, it's but I'm 32, so uh, you know. Oh, you're younger than me. Yeah, That's. <laughs> I've been into it a long time as a DJ since I was a teenager and making music as a producer since 89, 90. Wow. So a long time. And just uh, where do, where do you find your inspiration? Because like I mean, honestly for me, uh, or rather for a lot of us, every Josh Wink single is revolutionary for its time whether um, <clears throat> are you there came out then it was it, it made its mark at that time um, of course higher state made its mark even and right now to balls it's made it, it it's it, it's defining Thank you. it is uh, and, and all your productions have that of course Josh Wink sound but it's also got that um, that's that's something unique in it I mean like so what what, what is your creative process in your mind like how does it work? I'm just trying to get some tips <laughs> uh, kind of touched on a question earlier okay. I don't know it's just being able to get into the studio and experiment and, and try and then you never know what happens I don't know what I'm making I don't know if people are gonna like it or hate it or whatever but I just believe in my passion and you mentioned a word integrity and to me an integrity is it's what drives me and Putting out a track for me is like getting a tattoo. But the difference is, is that you can get a tattoo removed. Right. You can get a, 
uh, attractor moves. You know? oh, oh, so I want to make sure that it's it's something that I it's believe in. It's timeless and, and yeah. Well, because I don't know. I mean, I don't try they, to do this. They, just kind they of are. Like, they are. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, because you've been doing um, a few remixes over the last few years, and then Balls has been your first original production after four years. A, four years. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I played the track tonight. My last track, I did a remix for Matthias Cade and Cotton. Cool. All right. And uh, I played it last night tonight. And it's funny because I played it last night and Adam, it was like one of the tracks that he was like wondering what it was. So, and I just finished it last week. So it's kind of cool to test it out and try it out and see how it works and then go back and see how I can, uh, you know, improve on it or help it out. It. I don't really have any trips, you know, tricks or secrets to really tell. It's just make sure you, because I know you're releasing and doing a lot of great stuff right now too. Thank you, sir. <laughs> On a big international label, so Thank you, you know, sir. it's really cool. Enough that when I met you and I sent you something about on SoundCloud. About yes. Five, eight, six, seven, seven years ago or six years five, ago. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, no. I'm trying to think exactly when, about maybe five years ago. I, I caught a fish. It was this fish. Yeah, this, I, this fish. So one day I look at my email and then there's a SoundCloud message from Josh Wink and he's like, send me that track, you know, that one. I'm like, what? You, know, you have passion, you keep on doing, you do what you do and you just, you release music. Are you working on a lot of productions right no. now? I just did this mix last week and I started doing a track after the remix because it felt right and it's a really cool track and it's, I guess it's a different kind of Josh Wink kind of sounding Okay, thing. cool. I, I don't know. Who knows what will happen with it, either it sits in the vault or it will come out and you'll hear it soon. But we're going to be releasing a lot of uh, stuff, older stuff remastered and some stuff remixed next year for the 2014 20 years of Ovum. Wow. We're doing a limited vinyl remix of Are You There from Ben Clark and uh, wow. Benny, Benny Rodriguez. Wow, that sounds wow, that's big. Huge. That sounds so, big. Yeah, wow. it's a good thing. We're going to probably do an unlimited edition vinyl. And so, you know, just release a couple of things from my catalog like that. Maybe another single, new single from me. So we'll see. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you in India. I'm so glad that four years in the making you're finally here it's like people have been trying to get you like everybody's been trying to get you for so long and i'm so glad that you're finally here well, and it's good I, to be here you guys are great and i hope you come back very soon 